Hello and welcome back to Quill Pig Gaming Blind playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance begins here. So a little bit about the game before we get started. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance is an action adventure role playing game published by Playon. I think that's how it's pronounced. In 2018, it's rated mature M, 17 plus for blood and gore. Intense violence, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and use of alcohol. Estimated time to play is over 80 hours, which will make it the longest game that we've yet tried to play for the for the channel here. So, um, so about picking this game, I recently saw the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 announcement trailer, and that looked really cool. So I thought, well, I should take a look at the first one and, and see how it is. Um, evidently people really like it. Um, not sure exactly what all it's going to cover. It said something about Bohemia and Medieval. I don't know much about Medieval Bohemia, so it'll be kind of interesting to, to learn a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's accurate information. I'm not filling my brain with false information. And we're going to play a knight. That's as much as I know about the game. Anyway, let's get started. New game, uh, normal mode. Wenceslas the Idol. I wonder if that has anything to do with the song Good King Wenceslas. Oh, this is pretty. Very rocky terrain. Silver scallops. Okay, 1400. Well, that looks pretty historically accurate. The only thing I've played that kind of looks like this at all is um, I played a little bit of Witcher 3. And this actually looks a little bit better than Witcher 3. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get <laughs> it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? You blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Are you sleeping on a bench? Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bread. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? 
have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. <laughs> You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Well, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, hmm. just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get off, you rogue. I wonder if they used uh, motion capture for everything. Because this guy does look like the guy from the announcement trailer for uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Okay, got a little loading. What does that say? It's got script around it. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Oh. Uh, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Uh... Hmm. What do we want? Dancing? Strength? Speech? Vitality? Dancing? I went dancing. Dancing? With Bianca. Ah, that's why you're tired. But you'll still have to work today. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character hmm. with a sword who's turned up in town recently. Archery? No, it's just Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. <sighs> Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Uh, go to your father. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Okay. Do you need help? You need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Father angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsi. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Hmm. Is that foreshadowing? Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. <laughs> I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. 
You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Okay. Game save. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're first person POV. And the table has food. Uh, pick it up in the inventory tab. How do we pick stuff up? That's jump. Sit. Red roll. Uh, okay. Maybe we should have sat further to the left. This can't be done while sitting. Okay, get up. It's going to take getting used to. Alright. Uh, can we pick up anything else? Pick up apple. Pick up lentil soup. Oh, we're gonna eat all the food. Okay. Cheese. I bet cheese was expensive. Drop into pot, eat from pot. Okay. And not that. Can't delay. Um, buttons. That's whistle. Okay. Jump. Open. Ah, there's a map. It's up arrow. Guess that's us. Exit. It's down arrow. Okay, here's our inventory. Oh, okay, we've got an illustrated manuscript style inventory system. Okay, and cycle tabs. Stats main level I don't know what these are scout wanderer info levels derived from your stats and your progress through the game it's useful for comparing your character to that of your friends with every second level you reach you can select one perk that will allow you to make your character more specialized level two okay Nope, go back. Weapons, armor, green shirt, old boots, red scarf, tight olive hose. Okay, so there's all of our inventory items. Huh. Food. Two apples, two bread, two cheese, lentil soup. Melee weapon, range weapon, head armor, body armor 2, arm armor, leg plate, health, energy, nourishment. Okay, so nourishment is a thing. 64. Out of what? Visibility, conspicuousness, noise, strength, agility. So we got agility of 3. Charisma of 7, speed of 19. I don't know what that's out of. Quest item, other door keys, and trunk keys. Okay, whatever that is. 
Okay, player tab. Main level. Strength, agility, vitality. And we can up that. Looks like... Better at evading strikes. Archery. Agility perk points every fourth level up. Ah, oh, it just turns him around. Okay. Scroll page. There we go. Okay. Speech. Well, that looks better. Charisma. Visibility. Business. Hmm. All right, well, vitality or speech? Speech? What's the plus? Looks like we can add a point. Nourishment. Maximum is 120. Energy. Stamina, health. Okay, that's all good. Uh, combat, defense. Firm grip. I have no idea what to do with any of this stuff. This is going to be interesting. Warfare, axe, bow, mace, skills, alchemy, drinking. How's drinking a skill? Oh, okay. So it's like tolerance. Ooh, this all looks fun. Maintenance. That's definitely going to be important. Hope we don't have to do much pickpocketing. Reading. Definitely want to read. Okay, buffs. Reputation. Scallops is where we are. Huh. General. Groshan. That must be dollars. Okay. Uh, no sidekicks. Quest log. Unexpected visit. Go to your father. Go to the sword fighting lesson map codex there's so much to look at okay well let's head to our father see that's the front door i want to know what's in here open ah pantry more apples root vegetables pottery What are those? Like carrots? They're kind of like carrots, just kind of pale. Something like a potato, but not a potato, because there were no potatoes. Not in Bavaria in the 1400s. 
Okay, follow the compass for A. Discovered grindstone. What's the matter with you, Kevin? Didn't you hear me calling you? Persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. Speech. Social status. Uh, intimidate. Bribing. Horsemanship. Huh. Okay. But different approaches work in different... Okay. Your money versus the amount you have to pay. Total speech, Henry. Charisma. Huh, okay. Poison him a little first? I'm gonna poison a merchant before you talk to him. Next page? Nope. Okay. Close hold B. Uh no idea what his skills are. But seven's our high skill. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling <laughs> I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to axe, buy the Axe, hammer, charcoal. and nails. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure, I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasai. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. <laughs> Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Collect debt from Kunish. Crossguard the castle. Grindstone shows up on the map. Where is the grind? There's the grindstone. Okay. Uh, quest log. Up. Debt from Kunesh. C. Ale at the tavern's last. Okay, so C first. What's this? Scallets. Okay. Do we get to pick herbs? Wait, something popped up. Sage. Become an herbalist. We 
talk to you? Nope, you're busy. It's a pretty looking town. <laughs> Jane? Are you who we're supposed to see? Looks like it. Kunish. God be with you, Kunish. What do you want? That's rude. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Thanks for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Uh... Debts must be paid. Hmm. We don't have very good speech. I don't think we're going to intimidate him. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off. Oh. Booze okay, that's not a very good thing to say. As much use as a square wheel. No wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Can your thieving father thieving teach father. you manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, ZR is a hook. R is a jab. Lock on opponent. Okay. And L is block. How much health your opponent has left? It's the pink one. Stamina is yellow. Red's health. Okay. Build up that stamina. Sod it. All right, now you're dead. Oh, got clocked. Keep blocking him, but those kicks. He's a kicker. Ah. 
I think we won that. yourself with food and sleep and by relaxing in a bathhouse and then healing potions okay so there is some magical stuff okay so what is our what is us player stats health current is 60 that that wore us out Don't see any major injuries. Okay, picking those things seem to help out the herbalism. Buffs. Oh, buffs. Injured hand. And skills. Combat. Defense. Nothing. Okay, so striking certainly gained us some there. Unarmed went up a little bit. Defense did not go well, but that's fine. And door keys, Kunesh's keys. Bunch of keys with key from uh, Kunesh's chest. Okay. Are we following you? Is that what we're doing? Wash yourself. We got the axe. He went off for a walk. Where did you go? Valerian. I think that's a healing route. Okay. Got some cut wood. Discovered a traitor. Okay. More cut wood. Stay away from the back end of horses. They kick. Lots of cut wood. Planks. Hey. All right. Well, he gave us the key to his chest. All right, blacksmith boy, you got the better of me. Okay. Take what you want. You haven't heard the last. Uh. 
uh, as a carpenter. Where's the where the nails and the hammer at? He's a sloppy carpenter. Is that a hammer? It's a wooden mallet. Where's his chest at? Keeps the keys to his chest. There we go. Hammer and nails. All right. Well, we got that. Find something at Kunesh is worth selling. Was there anything else? There really wasn't. What's on the table? Is that just light? Maybe. Oh, it's an oil lamp. Those are cool. There's nothing else in there. Yep. He doesn't have anything worth selling. We already ate something from the pot. There's a broom? Yeah. Old timey broom. Looks like a little pig pen. Dude, you got nothing. Feel bad for the guy. Ah, there's an area up above though. getting up there. There's no step stool. He doesn't have anything we're taking. Chicken? We take a chicken? Yeah, let's wash ourselves again. Don't want to just carry around a bunch of wood. All right. Trader. Grocer. Henry, I'm glad you came. What was the rest of the stuff we have? Cross guard. Bag of charcoal at the market. A. Ale at the tavern. What's the one underneath of A? Is that B? Charcoal burner. Good health to you. Okay, you have to put your purchases into your basket and then either confirm or try to haggle. Let's talk trade. Charcoal is half a coin. How much do we need? Go 
Kunish's axe, Kunish's hammer. Maybe some nails. Okay. Sell. Buy. Charcoal. We can get five pieces of charcoal. How much do we need? Well, that is accurate. Charcoal is wood burnt in kilns by pyrolysis without influx of air, primarily used in forges and smelting works to a lesser degree in alchemy and filtration processes. Five is the most that we could get. Which is about a pound. Well, mm, exit the shop. Um, let's go to our quests. Bag of charcoal at the market. So we need ten. Ten pieces. Okay. So let's talk to him again. Okay, 10 pieces, which will cost us five coin. So sell. Ten. Ugh. They give us one. Three point nine, four, five point four, is that counting all of them as one bunch? I guess so. Yeah, six, seven, it's not even enough. Hmm. Even if we take everything, right? We get 6.5. That's all we got. And then if we go back over to buy, ten. Okay, then we still get back 1.5. Basket. Let's all just check the basket. Yeah, there we go. Give it 1.5. Might as well. Okay, close the deal. Okay, so we got the charcoal we needed. Just charcoal laying on the ground. Okay, so uh, definitely finding roots is good. What is this stuff? You need to learn the plants of the region. Okay, so there's those. Now B. What was B? Hey Pip, do you want to learn something? No. Uh. I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. That kind of looks like backgammon. Okay, go to the sword fighting lesson. Yep. Talk to Master Vanyak. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? <laughs> that was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rock in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Fair enough. I feel like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, Oof. are you ready to get stuck in? 
Let's go. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheep. Can we sit? Sit. All right, and then inventory. Well, how are we doing on hunger? Can we do anything with those? Defense? I don't know what the, pl oh, the plus just means that there's more information. That's it, okay. It's not that we can put a point on it. Stats has main level, aesthetic. Oh, back. That's a perk that we can learn. Manly odor. <laughs> Night Rider, scout. That's all bonus. Wanderer. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. That seems good. Do we get one perk at every level? Let's put a perk on that. Okay. Um, seems like there's another point to put on. It's got the... Ah. Speech? Nope. Close that tab up. Okay, health is at 60, stamina is back to 97, nourishment's at 82, so that's fine. Reading spot, injured head. Yeah, we got roughed up. Oh, okay. Reputation. Looks like generally positive. Herbalism. Need to pick more herbs. And stealth. Take down. Knock people out from a crouching position. Huh. Alright. Quest log. I passed it. Oh! It has this little personal history. Couldn't get the coin out of Kunish, but I did get some things from him. I can sell. It covers debt. Open Kunish's truck. Found the hammer and nails he hadn't paid for. Took back the axe he got from the father. Okay. Uh, let's go back over to inventory and eat an apple. Or a bread bowl. Looks like those things wear down quick. Lentil soup seems to be wearing out the fastest. Eat. There we go. 
Now, how does that do for us on stats? Nourishment, 90. Health is still at 60. That's probably not going to recover until we actually get some sleep. Alright. So, is that B? E. D. B. Heading for a sheep paddock. Looking for stuff along. This is Valeris route, right? Sage. Lots of sage. Might as well if we can sell it. There's a sheep paddock. Lots of sage around here too. What's this? Nothing? Combat arena. Nettle. Sage. I do like the herbalist thing. Chamomile. Sheep do well with chamomile. So, can we get started? We can. We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've told. Oh, you. good. A review. All uh, right, you refill our health. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Okay, can we lock in on you? There we go. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. All right, ZR slash. Good. Once again. Now you're getting it. All right. Good. Once again. Fine. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Okay. Stab. Good. All right. Very good. All right. Good. Glad we're using wooden swords. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I have a Okay, chain time. strikes. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another.
You can chain strikes together into a combo. Start a new strike as soon as the previous one ends. Try to press ZR or R at the very moment a previous strike lands. Okay. Okay. That's enough. That's gonna take a while to get used to. You, but I'm tired of bursting. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than All right. Than I think we're probably gonna be using that a lot. Alright. D. Our next task is to go get the cross guard. Although, we should stop and see if we can sell off our herbs. Um, grocer might. He might give us more for him. You're just a villager. Can we talk? No? Greetings, Henry. Pretzels? That's lovely. Talk to the trader. Shop guard. You have a guard in this sh little shop? Okay. Greetings. What do you need? Let's talk trade. Uh, it's armor food. Oh, you have antidote. It costs 40. Ooh, okay. What is antidote? Antidote to poison, but it doesn't carry food poisoning. All right. Cheap wine, dried fruit, mushrooms, garlic, hair meat. You got all kinds of stuff. Quilted brown jacket. How do you compare that with what we have? Ah, I see. It would bring our speed down, but our charisma, visibility, conspicuousness, and noise up. Okay. Our noise would be improved. Okay, so it is improvement that's showing in blue. That does look nice. 152. Oof. Torch? Well, I don't know about that, but selling. We have nettles and sage. Add to basket. Nettles and chamomile yeah I think that's good and check basket close the deal or haggle haggle can we do something about the price I Uh, right, haggling. Original purchase price, your last offer. Trader's last offer, your current offer. Ooh, okay. We'll have to figure that out. All right, for eight. Wait, what? Five two? Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. How about five? Is this enough? 
closed. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Okay, you won't move. Alright. Very well. I agree. Alright. Gotta haggle. I think that's how you improve your skills. Catch pole. Catch pole. Marigold de decoction. Torch. Beet. And cheese. Bread. I think a catch pole is a guy who catches thieves. Villagers. God save you, Henry. Ah. Taylor. Oh, the, I see. The tailor's visiting. Got a lovely market. What's that? Travel horseshoes. Armor's kit. Tailor's kit. Wool fabric. But it seems like there's a bunch of stuff you could do in town. Anyway, we need to go up to the big house and see about that cross guard. Is that a beehive or a birdhouse? I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratu, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. Oh, lovely. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. <laughs> when did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. I certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. <laughs> okay, we got the cross guard. Any other vegetation? That's that's free money. You gotta start from nothing. Hey, Henry, come to see us. Is there a book place in town? I'd love to have a book. Learn how to read. Now, what who are you and what do you do? Gambler. Oh, no. Not too interested in gambling. Hello? Villager? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German count elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not they go They are deep into the politics. Even. German count. Traitor. Now even the Pope... Don't be with you, I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche Spalling ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do 
I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. Uh, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. The Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzi is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Putinburg. Well, Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, <laughs> this is pointless. <laughs> Let us talk of more pleasant things, my lord protector. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Uh oh. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too, uh, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parliament. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. Oh no. You think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it to be honest. But. <laughs> Stones and tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So this is what peer pressure is like. How? Are you with us? Now we got stuff to do. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Alright, so we lost some reputation. Neocotus. And... Oh, okay. Pope Boniface the Ninth. Pope Boniface the Ninth, born Pietro Tomasielli. Thomas. Tom. Tomiselli was pontiff from 1389 contemporary, contemporaneously with Avignon antipopes Clement the Seventh and Benedict the Thirteenth. Refused to abdicate, leading not only to a continuation of the Western Schism, but also to an ever deepening rift in the Church. However, it also meant that Boniface had a growing influence on some important aspects of secular power. Okay. Well, not for now, but. Um, in between sessions, I'm going to read through all of this stuff. Uh, let's see. How do you scroll? Scroll down. Yeah, that's a lot to read. But this is going to be interesting. Charles. Albert. Pope Benedict. Boniface, Sigismund, yep. What's this loss? All right. Unlock. Total seven out of forty-six. All right. General. Greetings. This codex is awesome. I love woodworking, so. This is cool. Definitely going to read through a lot of this stuff. All right. Uh, events. Society. Characters. Tutorials. It's just got so much stuff. Okay. Inventory. Player. Inventory. Player. Let's see. Where do we keep our money at? How do we know how much money we have? Okay. 6.4. It's down at the bottom. We have no weapons. We have a little bit of food. We have cross guard, and that's it. All right. Did we gain anything with? Looks like we gained some speech there through haggling, maybe. Agility. 
vitality, nothing. Speech, nothing. Oh, I think I understand. Right. We get speech per perk points for every fourth level up. All right, so that's going to take a while. Vitality. Uh, every third level. Hmm. I'll we'll take a look at that later. All right, where is everything else? That is the tavern. Reduction of Wenceslas. Sigismund of Luxembourg. Yep. What's on this side of town? Don't want to talk. Nope. It's just a house. Stealth. Oh, okay. Not looking to be stealthy, but... Just want to look around town a little bit. Villager. Cabbages? What is it? Is it a cabbage? Hmm. Looks like... Here, bees. Bees are flies. Oh, yeah. So not every item shows up pilot. Is this private? Door is open. Flies. Hey, chickens. Horseradish. What is that? Cabbage. Radish. Okay. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Hello. Hello. Nothing back here. Doesn't seem to be much to do other than just go back to the task. Was worth the most of what we had before. Was it Valerian or Chamomile? I don't think it was Sage. Looks like a cattail. St. John's Fort.
fill up on plants. New level in herbalism. Lots of valerian. There's some more sage. Gotta find out what's worth money and what's not. Don't know how we're gonna make our way in the world yet. All right. More sage. See anything new? All right, we could pick this place clean. But let's go find out how much this stuff is worth. And then we gotta go buy a beer. An ale. God be with you, Henry. Good health to you. Alright, let's talk trade. Goodbye. And Sell. Take chamomile. It's worth 0 0.1. Sage. It's worth much more. And valerian. 0 0.1. Sage is worth the most by far. St. John's wort. All right, check basket. You get 5.8. All right, haggle. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? All right, 5.8. I would like to get, let's try 6.2 and then we'll go for six. What about this? Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Well, let's try 6.1. Ah, that would do it. Ah, there we go. And we got a level in speech. That's how we can increase our stats. Alright, now let's go get that beer. We already walked around to the front entrance. Okay. So it was that table where those guys were talking. Talking politics. There we go. Ooh, what's this? Marigold. Of these. All right. That's still nothing. Ah. Yeah, I probably want to stay clear of that. Where they threw the manure at the house. We're 
looking to be responsible. What you doing? Oh, you're sewing. Like a cross stitch. Hey, Bianca. Good save, my lovely. You're looking well today. You too, handsome. What brings you here? Oh, ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> Ragamuffin? What will it be then? Ragamuffin? Uh, pitcher for father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Sounds lively. Thanks. It's a me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this <laughs> evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Oh, um, shifty looking fellow. That shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak. Vanyak. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin rubbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? <laughs> Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Saving the game saves automatically at important moments during quests. And when you sleep in your own bed, save and immediately drink, save your schnapps. Okay. So, save your schnapps to save and oh, talk. How much a marigold's worth? Not really that much. Sage is definitely the way to go. We have enough to buy some of the stuff back. I don't think that we need to though. Check basket. And haggle. Can we do something about the price? Alright. One point three. What do you say to this? A nice sum. Just lower your demand <laughs> a little, and we'll agree. Back to the offered one point two. All right. That's a sum I can live with. All right. So you got a barricade around the hill fort. This is the outer wall. And we live inside the outer wall, but not inside the defensible keep. Ready for your ale? What did you actually do in Kuttenberg? Oh, all sorts. To be able to put your hand to anything if you wanted to make a living. But I was never far from iron. I'd like to see Kuttenberg sometime. I'll take you there one day, never fear. It's a beautiful city. But in the end, you'll learn the best place is here by the Sasa. We've kind nobles, fertile land, plenty of everything. And do you know Sir Radcliffe well? We've known each other long enough. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? 
Yeah. Yeah. The charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that, lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. <laughs> Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Pommel piece? Have you got the charcoal? Good. We fire up the forge and put it all together. Why would you need the forge hot for the hilt? By the way, I heard some gossip about what Unless happened it's to a... Deutsch. Hmm. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Oh, he got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. What, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rumors. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Oh. Hmm. Might be a little bit more meaningful if we Dennis didn't have to ready? beat up right, a guy the grip. to go get his money back. Okay, so if we heat up the tang and then put the I'll wooden uh, slip the grip, grip onto, onto exactly. it. You know what you're doing. And they can have the tightest fit possible because you're burning it in place. So I guess that makes sense. Didn't know they did that with swords though. I just knew it was with Dude. knives. Ooh, that'd be hot. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other love? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Hmm. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. It's a good measure of an emperor. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Okay, so Wenceslaw's okay. not good. Sigismund bad. All together. Oh, 
What's going to keep that from coming off again, though? That's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry and Leroy. <laughs> Teresa. Okay. Go get the nails for Teresa. Sage. Dandelion. That's new. What is it, my boy? Nope. God be with you. All right, in the chest. Okay. That's lockpick. Do we have lockpicks? Nails for Teresa. Ooh. Bandage. That's Marigold to talk de decoction. Within one minute, we'll add 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Cancel the effects of Lazarus Potion. Huh. All right. And save your snobs. Be stealthy. Stealthy. Alright. Henry, what are you waiting for? Bring those nails. <laughs> I got the nails. Do you think we're short of nails? Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um she's fine. Why'd you ask? <laughs> Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, not at Yuki. I'll be on my own. Hmm. This sword is truly beautiful. Talking to the girl. <laughs> Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. I haven't lost your skills, though. Well, it looks cool. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. Oh. Uh-oh. It doesn't look very cool. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's oh. about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. 
A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. He knows what he's about. Hmm. It's been an honor, Sir Isman. Have a safe journey to Saka. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. Hmm. Interesting hat. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green and the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Someone could shoot him with a crossbow, but he doesn't know how to use a sword, though. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. And so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. <laughs> Ooh, a writer. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh, that's not good. That's that's an army. This is just a town. This isn't gonna go well. Fire arrows. Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house. And grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? I'll go with okay. you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of it. He owes me. A bad feeling about this. Ooh. Pretty gory. Quickly! We have to close the gate! Get inside! Move. Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! We're running Come out of on! Time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the gate! Keep running, people! Come on! Mind this for me! Are you mad? You can't go back! Oh, no. None of this is good. In fact, the only good news we have is that we have Sage. Whoa! He's kicking some butt. No. 
Get her out of there. Get her out of there. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Not her too. Yep. Oh, brutal times. Poor Henry. So he's our enemy. Yeah, you can't fight that. You don't really even know anything. down from the wall. Force Talmberg, tell them. visit. Okay, run. Past. They're shooting at us. Come on, hop, hop the fence. Hop the fence. Find a way over the fence. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Ooh. Uh Uh, I guess we equip it. And then we had that doesn't help does it Ooh, game over okay better to run okay continue Ooh, that's our first death oh we can play farkle I like Farkle. Alright. Hold on a second. Controls? Settings? Is there... Hold on. Weapons. Does that not count as a weapon? It doesn't, does it? Yep. 
it doesn't count. Nope, you're over here. Keep running this way. He's coming. Can we not run? Horse. Horse. Mount. Trot. Trot plus canter. Gallop. Okay. There we go. Got kind of stuck there. Whew. We're not strong enough to... What are they speaking? Ooh. Are they Austrian? Shot in the leg. Yeah. Need to find someone who can help us. Okay. Who can help us? Uh... Assume we're going towards A for a reason. Left. I'll move us to the left along the Left. Side. Discovered shrine. Left. Through the bush. Nope. Can't go through the bush. Assuming there's somebody who can help us at the shrine. He's fleeing. I don't know who could help us. I think we're just trying to get out of here before we die. Yeah. 
Nem a nyakat, te nyomorom! We are bleeding out. How is this guy keeping up with us? We reached the next area. Oh, they were chasing us on horseback. I did not want to turn around and take a look. Well, there's the big hill for it. so we're not bleeding to death. And save that horse. It's a good horse. Give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Teach us how to bandage, bandage wounds. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Uh, probably lightheaded. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> what? Thank you. Good as new. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? His his breastplate is dinged up in the right spots. It looks good. Like, like realistic. This is a survivor from... I heard Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the ensigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry. 
son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. So this does feel very realistic. It feels that way. I don't know how realistic it is, but it feels feels that way, and I like that. It feels authentic. Talk to Sir Robert. Can we eat and sleep and get our health back? And does anybody here know about Henry's father and what his thing was? Uh, hold on. Discovered a fast travel point, discovered your bed. Baker. <sighs> Must eat. Must. Is that food? Food? Um. Anyway, let's save game, and wait, okay, it cost us one. Anyway, um, we'll save the game here, and when we come back, we'll go talk to Sir Robert and learn more about it. But for now, that's going to be the end of the first session. I think we're going to keep these uh, a little bit shorter than than this first one, but this first one I wanted to find a really good end point, and this, this feels like a nice point to... To, to pause the session and get back to it uh probably get back to it tomorrow yeah uh i hope you're enjoying this playthrough so far if you are please like share subscribe and comment and we will see you next time Bye bye